Hello, welcome to Maths Kitchen. I'm James and this is the sixth episode in my 20 week series, which is all about helping you to do as well as you possibly can in your maths GCSE. This week is all about helping you to decide which topics you should be revising at the moment. So what topics should you be practicing now that will translate into the most possible marks when you do that exam in June? Okay, so if you've followed the series so far, you are using a tick chart to keep yourself motivated, to give yourself that little mental pat on the back every time you've done some work. You are aiming to keep that work little and often, 10 to 20 minutes a day for five or six days a week. Um, you have used your mock exam to highlight some sort of silly little mistakes that you make, and you're just keeping that as a bit of a sort of back of your mind to keep working on those. We talked last week about some specific techniques to highlight to you when you've made a mistake in the exam, you know, how you can go back and check your answers. Um, you also used your mock to make a note of some particular topics that you need to work on that are just about the right level for you. Um, and hopefully you've also checked out the Maths Kitchen website and you're using that to do your daily workout. But as I mentioned in you know more than one video, there's loads of other places online that you can practice as well. So what should you be studying right now? Well, I'm recording this at the beginning of February 2020. So if you're watching it now or round about now, you've still got, you know, three or four months until your first exam. So the things that you're going to be studying now are slightly different. And, you know, and the way that you're studying now is slightly different to how you will be preparing, you know, the week before the exam or a couple of weeks before the exam. Um, and so the topics, the kinds of things that you're going to be studying are, are going to be slightly different too. And I'm going to get into that in a moment. Um, but just a word about the website. If you're using the website, it's sort of making these decisions for you. Um, but I thought this would still be useful and interesting for you to sort of see how we make those decisions about, you know, the topics that we give you to practice when you're on the website. Also but about the website, if you are signed up already, this is beginning of February 2020. And in fact, if you sign up in the next week or two, it is completely free and will remain free right through until your exams this summer uh, in 2020. After that, some of the content is going to be, you know, premium content that you might have to pay for, but there'll be lots of free stuff too. Right then. So the topics. Um, I put out a little survey on Twitter and I asked maths teachers to help me give their opinions what they thought would be the most useful topics. Uh, these were the results that they came out with. So you can see in terms of prioritizing these topics, over 48% of teachers thought that solving quadratic equations you know, was the best topic to choose, followed by Sokotoa, you know, trigonometry in right angle triangles, then probability trees, and then standard form. And I have to say, I pretty much agree with those percentages there, with the order that they've come up with. And it's for these reasons. I think at this stage of your revision, you should be focusing on topics that have the most transferability, um, you know, the most transferable skills that are relevant in lots of different questions, right? So solving quadratic equations, for example, it depends how you're solving these, but if you're solving it by factorizing, well, you're practicing factorizing, um, and then you have to go through and sort of solve it like a normal equation. Very often you're gonna have some negative numbers in there as well, so it gives you a little bit of praxis of that. Or you might be using the quadratic formula, in which case you're gonna be practicing substituting into a formula. Again, you're gonna have some negatives and you know what happens when you're squaring numbers, what happens when you're squaring negatives, all that sort of stuff. And those skills are relevant to lots of different questions, not just solving quadratic equations. So in practicing solving quadratic equations, you're actually practicing lots of skills that will come up in lots of different areas of maths. Probability trees and standard form, I would say have fewer of those transferable attributes. I'm not saying that we shouldn't revise those, um, but I would prioritize them you know, below those other things. If you're using the Maths Kitchen website and you're signed up and you're doing the daily workout or you're using the progress page to tick off topics, then we have an algorithm that is working out which are the topics that have the most sort of transferable skills and we prioritize those. So you will get onto that other stuff. As long as you keep ticking topics off, you will get onto the things like probability trees and standard form. It's just that we're gonna prioritize the other things ahead of that. What if you're not signed up for the website though? How can you use this advice to make the most of your revision time? Well, I would say, generally speaking, a lot of stuff to do with algebra is gonna be really useful 
in lots of different areas, in particular solving equations, rearranging formulae, you know, even factorizing. Those are really good skills to practice. Um, they're going to help you in lots of different questions. If you're not confident with your number work, that is another really good place to practice and build up your confidence. And that's going to come up, of course, in lots of different questions. So I'm talking about things like, can you multiply um, large numbers together? Can you work with decimals? Can you multiply decimals or add decimals? Um, can you find percentages of an amount and can you do percentage increases and decreases? These are all things that come up a lot and could come up in a number of different questions. And then the other thing is ratio and proportion. This comes up all over the place, not just things like sharing in a given ratio, of, although of course that's useful too, but this idea of proportion of being able to work with proportions. So for example, this will come up in a speed, distance and time question if you're traveling, let's say 35 miles an hour for an hour, how far would you travel in two hours? Okay, well you're traveling for twice as long, so you're going to go twice as far. So you'll travel 70 miles. That concept, it might sound quite simple, but that comes up in so many different questions. You might not immediately recognize that that's what you're being asked. So as I say, if you're using the website, it's already doing all that clever stuff in the background, which really just allows you to focus on the practicing. But if you're not using the website, I would think about prioritizing those sort of broad categories that I mentioned earlier. Right, so that was episode six of the 20 week series, which is all about helping you get ready for your maths GCSE exam. Thank you very much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you in episode seven.